Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of Spring Framework and Spring Boot tutorial, today let us develop our first Spring application. So, in order to develop first Spring application, let us open Eclipse. I've chosen chosen a new workspace over here, and let us create one Spring project here. And we are going to create this project using Maven. So, okay, how to create Maven project? File New Maven project. Make a check mark over here, create a simple project, skip archetype selection, click on next, go with the group ID, I'll say spring, artifact ID, let me go with the spring project and click on finish button. Then it's going to create a Maven project. Now, once the project is created, once the project is created, now we need to add the project dependencies where we need to add the project dependencies in pym.xml file we need to add the project dependencies so where to add here we have to create one dependencies element in between dependencies element we need to add spring dependency so how to add the spring dependency is open search engine like google and you can you can search here for spring context maven dependency open this maven repository and let us go with 6 version here 6.2.2 let us click over here and you can copy this dependency copy here click in the box the code will get copied come back to eclipse in between dependencies element paste this dependency right hope you are having idea on maven tool how to create projects using maven and how to add the dependencies okay so once we save this file in this maven dependencies so you can see the jar files got added in our project here in this Maven dependencies. Now, let us create one package under SRC main Java. Let me go with the package name. Like uh, let me say com.spring. Click on finish. And in this package, let us create one class address. We are creating one class address. Now, in this class address, let us go with the properties like private string city, private string state. So, we are going with two properties and let us go with a constructor public address which takes string city and string set state as arguments and we will say this dot city equal to city and this dot state equal to state so we are using constructor injection over here we are using what here constructor injection to give the value to the property right and create one default constructor public address now once we create this bean address so we can call it as spring bin class. Let us go with one more bin class here. Like right click on com.spring package and say new class. Let me go with the name of the class as customer. Now, let us go with the properties in this customer class. Go with the properties like private. Uh, let me say int customer ID. Private string customer name and let us say private address address that means customer is dependent on address so we have to inject this address bean into customer bean so that only we call dependency injection over here now let us generate the setters and getter methods right click and say source generate getters and setters select all generate right so we are using constructor injection to inject the properties over here so we are using this set address we are using what here setter injection previous ones and setter injection now this one is setter injection or you can even say property injection okay so we are injecting one bin into another by using setter injection in this example now once we create the bean classes our next step is we need to create spring bean xml configuration file 
we need to create what spring bin xml configuration file and we can create that spring bin xml configuration file under src main resources folder right click on this src main resources and send new other choose over your xml xml file say next let me go here with the name like uh, customer.xml any name we can go with any name customer.xml say finish now come to the source tab here we need to follow the template how to get springbin xml configuration file template is you can go to the search engine like google and you can search here for springbin xml configuration file you can go to this docs.spring.io open this and here you can find the xml schema style copy this copy this template right click and say copy come back to eclipse and paste over here so this you can call it as template right so downloading external resources is disabled uh, for this you go to this uh, click on this window menu window preferences you can see your maven under maven make a check mark over here download artifact java doc make a check mark over here and say apply and close right the error will go off now and here in between the root tag of spring bin xml configuration file is bins and here we need to add the bin definitions now start like this bin id equal to address bin id equal to address and it's an object of which class com dot spring dot address com dot spring dot address so we are creating one bin address and it's going to return an object of which class here address here so the main role of spring context is to create your objects and use that objects for us during runtime so spring will take care of Take care of what life cycle of an object which we have discussed in the previous videos now in this address pane we are having two properties state and city and how we are giving value to this property using constructor injection so when we are giving value to property using constructor injection make use of the tag here constructor arc constructor arc value equal to you can go with some city like delhi can go with something like Hyderabad and because Delhi is a state over there so I'm just using some names over here constructor arc value equal to select arc. so here we are going with what we are going with a bin id address it's it's going to return object of which class address class present in this package and we are providing the value to this property city and state using constructor here constructor or value hyderabad and constructor or value telangana let us create one more bin bin id equal to customer and it's an object of which class com dot spring dot customer com dot spring dot customer and here since we are using see in this customer class we are using setter injection to give the value to property so here what we do is go with the element property name property name what is the property name here we are having three properties that is customer id customer name and address so this address we have to inject so how to take the property name property name customer id customer id you can go with the value value equal to some one 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 then one more property name customer customer name value some name you can go with some name i'm going here with smith then next one 
bean bean id equal to address bean id equal to address and we are referring here bean id equal to address so we are having one more property what here address so since it is one more class since this address is a bean means you are referring to another class it's a spring bean class so here we have to use the element bean id equal to address reference equal to address reference equal to what address so we are referring to this bean right this one what is the property name right property name equal to address property name it's a property name address and we'll say reference equal to address right since this property is what it's a bean so to get this address bean we have to refer to this part we are referring to this id address then it's going to inject this address property with these two values so this completes our spring bin xml configuration file now once this xml file is ready now let us test our application let us test the application so how to test we can go with this com.spring package right click and send new let us go with this class let us say some test one with main method now here we need to load our spring bin xml configuration file so in order to load spring bin xml configuration file here we make use of an interface application context application context is an interface context equal to you can say the implementation of application context interface is done by using new class path xml application context and what is the name of the xml file customer.xml now import the packages control shift o this is a shortcut to import the packages so let me document here shortcut to import the packages what we have to press on our keyboard control shift o to import the respective packages for your classes or interfaces what we are using now here we need to get the pin how to get the pin you can say customer customer equal to customer customer equal to by using context we have to call the method get pin customer dot get pin context sorry context dot get pin what is the bean id here customer bean id is customer now since get bean method returns object go with the type casting so we are casting to customer here now once we say context dot get bean customer it will go to customer dot xml file sees the bean id customer it's going to create object of customer and that object will be given back to us here we are going to inject this property customer id customer name and address right we are displaying this properties here now now when we once we say property name address reference address this complete address will get injected over here now now this object is ready with values now you display the object here so here what you say customer id take the value of your customer id customer dot get customer id next one customer name customer name take the value of your customer name how to take the value of customer name by using getter sorry getter method get customer name then next one customer address customer address say so here customer dot get address that's it now run the application right click and say run as java application see here it is displaying our customer id customer name and address it is returning what here whenever we print customer dot get address see here it's going to return what address here whenever we call get address it's returning address object so it will go to this get address and these values will be written so whenever we are returning an object 
it's going to invoke which method to string method it invokes to string method that's the reason we are getting class name along with hash code so what we need to do to represent the object value in proper readable format in address class we need to override to string method so override to string method here public string to string where we written written city and state written city and state now run your test class test one dot java right click and say run as java application so here customer address it is printing the city name and state here right so this completes our first application in spring and we have created this project using maven please practice this a very very important one if you are totally new to this spring right so that's about in this video please subscribe like and share thank you